Here is Danny and today, yesterday, DICE released the Outbreak mode and while I had some fun hey, in the jump. mode, there is definitely things that could be a lot better. So I present to you my feedback slash review video. Problem 1, there is only a few different guns available with some of questionable usability. Like there is the AM40 with its tiny 20 bullet mag. Or the VHX with its awful iron sights that even make the FAMAS laugh. Resulting in the PP29 being the best gun generally available. Good mag, nice rate of fire, good clear iron sights while also having a reasonable price of 800 and spawns in midway. There's also the PKP at the end of the level, the DM7 marksman and the 880 shotgun. So there is 6 primaries in total. With the free MP28 and the Deagle as sidearms. A way to solve this is to have different guns on rotation and an upgrade system. By rebuying the same gun, you get an upgraded version with bigger magazines, some sights, etc. Also, why does the first wave only have the gun you already have and you can't do anything with? Also, the main character of the event, Casper, is completely useless in the mode, yet his skin is based on the main character named Isaac. Unrelated, Isaac is an engineer, so why did the drone guy get it? And honestly, anyone outside of the medics plus Crawford and I guess Zane are absolutely useless on this mode. Having 3 medics and a minigun is just so much more useful than a guy with his drone or a girl that blocks spots. The skins you buy actually don't show up on the new guns in the mode either, so the dead space skins aren't available in the dead space mode unlike the trailer suggests. To make it even better, while the PP29 and MP28 are available, the Wars Mark IV isn't usable. So DICE, what are you doing? Don't you want to sell skins? Because this is how you sell skins, you know? Another thing is that it could use some mini bosses. One stronger oversized Zombot charging you a la a Left 4 Dead charger per stage. Would require some behavior changes to the bots though, but it could be fun. And maybe a tank at the end level, although it is a very cramped space which makes it even scarier. AI is sometimes smart in the way they attack, other times they get beaten by an Irish fence. You can just block off the pathways with those things, which is really easy to abuse. Or they just stand still looking at you. Like the AI can actually jump, even randomly, but they stand behind the barrier for a good amount of time and then they decide they can actually fall over it. But yeah, that waiting period is making it really easy to just pop their little silly heads. Also, just give us full progression at this point. The game is nearing 3 years old, support is basically gone. Why hamper T1 progression or XP? I already screwed it over anyway with the original bot mode, so it doesn't really matter anymore anyway. Also won't mind support on more maps, going from building to building on Spearhead for example, while also taking a stop in the bunker and on some other places. Could also make it so there's less predictable spawn points for the enemies, bringing me to some of the tips. Get the ammo box and incendiary grenades and preemptively nade the spawners so they don't bother you for a bit. Then instantly get your nade back with the ammo box. And as I said, the P29 is basically the best gun available. I haven't really used the PKP, but that gun has really long reload, so it is probably not worth it. If there was a 12M instead of a 8080, it might be worth it to use the shotgun more, because the 8080 reload kills it. It's also a tad weird, you don't need to be in the lift to extract, or to be alive, <laughs> since we all kind of died inside it by the incendiary grenade, and then got extracted and won, which was kind of funny though. Yeah. <laughs> I know why is it... No! Yes! Did we win? Especially considering how strict the hazard zone rules are on the other side of the game. I also noticed that some phases can go way quicker than others. Like the capture the flag thing after the burners. Do the waves like normal and then 5 seconds later you get the flag. At that point why even have it? Also, I have recorded the moment, but Shadowplay decided it was a German referee and commit hate crimes against the Dutch. And honestly, I wouldn't mind having a PvE mode like this in the next Battlefield game. Assuming the game is actually not shit at launch like Battlefield 5 and 2042. 
It looks really pretty when you turn off all the UI elements with UI.drawenable0. Do you have any other things that should ch be changed? Or any other tips? Let me know down in the comments. But hey, that is all I got for now. Subscribe for more. This was Danny and I see you on a better field.